Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. Um, when I show you the bottom of the deck here in a minute, that's going to be how you feel, but the rest of the reading will be about your ex and their intentions. And this reading assumes that they ha have already established contact. This is not about will they return or not. This is about they're already there, now what? Okay, this is for Taurus. One more. Taurus. Okay. Taurus. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Knight of Swords. So you're probably wanting your voice heard or opinions or you're ready to fight. You're not putting up with any shenanigans. All right. With them coming back and maybe they're not, they're coming in hot. They're not, their intentions aren't the best and you're ready to defend verbally or otherwise if you need to, or that you're, you're wanting to clear the air. Apparently so are they, they can be quite petty. Okay. And they, they are trying to maybe reestablish some authority here. At the same time, there this is this is somebody that can be quite controlling. I can see why you're kind of loaded for bear here, um, because this is somebody that just assumes that they should be sort of dictating how the conversation goes, or that their view is the only view. You should see things my way. Um, could be a Leo, and this is someone that can be very proud and stubborn. Um, they actually though are coming in to probably, they want to see, um, this is, might be a friendly gesture. Okay. It could be a friendly gesture. However, this is somebody that is, um, there's control there. There's, this is somebody that is used to being in charge and asserting themselves and having people follow what they want, do what they want. Okay. So we got the two of wands or rods, queen of pentacles, two of pentacles reversed. The Emperor. All right, so we could have an Aries here, Leo or Aries. All right, so uh, they are by themselves. They're not seeing anybody. If they are, it's superficial. It's nothing they've attached any sort of emotional weight to. They quite like being by themselves. So them coming back is probably just seemingly a gesture of goodwill. However, um, you know, these two combined though, this could be, there's some control there, but maybe their intentions aren't so bad because honestly, like this is somebody that, okay, so we've got somebody that's, they're, they're coming back around, not because they're sniffing to see if there's a chance at reconnection. I think they'd be open to it, but that's not their agenda. I think they really see you as wise counsel. I think they want to be friends. Honestly, this is somebody that's used to having their, their way but they're also quite self-sufficient and quite um, used to being in control. They will assert themselves. Um, this could be you also loaded for bear though, because it could be pretty pushy. They're, it looks like their intentions are good. Um, they might just want a friendship, you know, that maybe you did have something, a, a friendship, but maybe they're coming back to do the right thing. They're, they're feeling pretty honorable. They're feeling like, okay, I need to do the right thing. I need to do you know, I, I need to be respectful here. I need to apologize kind of like the justice card for what I did, because over here we have the two of pentacles reversed. So things could have ended. Um, it, it just, it was kind of probably chaotic. There's maybe things were imbalanced, imbalanced between work. It could have been somebody was kind of juggling a few habits or other people in secret, you know, trying to keep things hidden. And we had some, so that's why it ended and they're coming back to do the right thing and to tell you the truth. Um, and explain things. And this is, this is some, this is the miser card. So this is control, but it might also be like, okay, well, you know, for some reason it feels like the six of pentacles in the sense that I need to balance things out. I need to make things right. And they are conflicted about you. They feel conflicted. They probably wish things would have progressed now and there might be an inkling of wanting to see if there's a chance, but they are coming back with honorable intentions to clear the air and they want to explain a few things. You, however, are probably not going to put up with anything less than that. So lucky them. <laughs> um, they are this again, this is somebody used to get in their way, but it does look like their intentions are honorable. You know, they do 
want to, um, they've been watching, they do want to clear the air, they do want to talk about things, but they also expect their voice to be heard and listened to. And they, it's like they come, they're coming back and they're expecting that this, what they stay, say will reestablish the security or control. Um, and yes, their intentions are honorable, but they're just very used to getting their way. So there's that to consider. They are at the crossroads with their feelings about you. Although they have, you have been on their radar. Um, this just flew out. Okay, so we got three and I just, okay, so we've got self-sufficiency, not being happy and probably dating. All right, I'll just put that there because it fell out when I was talking there. So that might be, you know, they either see you dating, being by yourself and happily by yourself, just like they are. Um, not really having anything secure or, you know, then that's fine. You're, you're happy with just your friends or just casually dating. So I think maybe they, maybe they've come to a point where they're like, okay, I am who I am. And I, you know, you and I have a lot in common because we're both very good independently or we're both okay independently. You, they feel like you match their energy, I think. And they might be coming back around because they've been alone for a while, possibly. And they, they haven't really found anybody that matched them like you. So while they want to reconnect and be friends, they probably would be open to much more because your energies are very similar. Um, and they are showing up to be a confidant, a good friend, wise counsel. This is also though is somebody that can be controlling. So again, with the control, this is somebody that is just very used to being in control. It's just who they are. It's in their nature. And they felt, I think there's a bit of guilt. They want to do the right thing. They, they felt guilty about how things ended. Okay. And that might be why you're loaded for bear here. Or why you're like, well, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to give as good as I get because they were probably the one cheating or letting things get in between, you know, come between the relationship. So this shows honorable intentions, just saying Taurus, um, they are looking for somebody of their caliber as far as a friend. So just take that into consideration. They have no problem being alone. But if they're going to be with anybody long term, it would be they would consider you for that just because there's an energy match there. All right, so. OK, I was going to clarify the emperor and then these two fell out. All right. Yeah, this is this is somebody that is showing up. Their intentions are honorable, really about friendship, about, um, you know, they've been alone for a while. They see, OK, well, this person is of my caliber. I mean, there's kind of an ego here, if we're honest. OK. But, you know, but there's, it's not a stable offer. If somebody still plans to do what they want to do when they want to do it. Again, with the high expectations, again, with the control, again, with somebody used to having things go their way. Okay. Um, but I think they've kind of come full circle with a few things. And so they're coming back with an offer of friendship or they would like that because you do match them. Not many people, they probably don't really put up with a whole lot. They suffer no fools and people probably find them kind of off putting because they're kind of arrogant and a blowhard. But for some reason they, they, they feel like they have an energy match with you. I think they respect you. This is not anything about a, a secure offer. There might be passionate reconnection involved. Okay. But you're not going to be the only one. They're not going to stop with you. This is not about reconnecting. They're not really it's not that they're not happy. They just don't want to settle down. Their happiness would not lie in settling down with anybody. So this is someone that's kind of both of these cards right here speak to greed. Okay. Both of these right here would speak to greed. So this is somebody in their nature is just, they want to be in charge. They want to have what they want. They'd rather be alone than have their views, have their, what they want, their agenda, their pursuits compromised. Okay. But they do, for whatever reason, value your friendship. This sounds like a really controlling person, but their intentions are good. So maybe you got them where nobody else did. Maybe you can handle them because it doesn't look like you're suffering any fools here. It doesn't look like you would put up with much. You're probably one of the very few people that if you told them to knock it off or stand down, they would. So they wouldn't mind a dalliance reconnection, but what they, the pursuit of what they want, the greed, the accumulation, the, um, their agenda is more important than any connection they could have with somebody. So they're probably coming to apologize for how things ended. And maybe if you want to be friends with benefits, but this is not a reconnection offer. 
it's just balancing the scales for them, doing the right thing, reestablishing order, if you will. All right, grab the wrong deck. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo, a Taurus or a Leo. Um, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Leo Taurus, okay? Put those upside down. Just a minute, just a minute. Tell my little guy that. Just a minute. <laughs> One more. There we go. All right. Clearing. <laughs> Clearing the air. Remove energy blockages by clearing out unwanted emotional or material clutter. Okay. So I think that's what this is about. He, this, he or she is coming back to clear the air. Um, I think they... And you're, you're like, all right, I'll listen, but I'm going to say mine also. And I think this person, again, like I said before, I think they're used to having their way be the highway, you know, their way or the highway. They're used to having their point of view adopted, you know, like everybody hears what they have to say and then they just follow along with that person because they do speak with authority. They are quite confident, if not arrogant. And you're like, oh no, that's not going to work with me. <laughs> I know who you really are. Don't, don't treat me like you're teaching me something. Talk to me like an equal. You know what I mean? All right. One more. Endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that new can enter doubles down on this clearing thing. And again, with the clearing of the air and you're like, I'll listen, but I'm not backing down from my position either. This is about, this really is about clearing out, clearing things out and balancing the scales. Honestly, about getting all the gunk out. And just so we're both clear on this, you know what I mean? Um, their, their intentions though, they are coming back to, I think, offer an apology or just admit culpability. They would be open Possibly they're conflicted or they're at the crossroads. It would depend on how receptive you are to a reconnection with them because they could go either way, but just know that they are, they like the way things are. They're perfectly happy being by themselves and they will take a friendship with you or friends with benefits, but it's not about reconnecting and anything stable or secure. They probably enjoyed you physically. So they're open to that, but this is not about, you know, reunion getting back together. All right, I'm wanting this one right here. Darn it, stop it. That which bewitches us. This is a femme fatale here, but it could be, you know, just any, it could be a person or thing. Um, the one person that we just feel really drawn to, there's that magnetism, attraction, um, lust infatuation and yet it often is and this could this kind of speaks to this right here it's a shallow pursuit it never gives satisfaction so maybe that's just kind of enough for this person maybe that's what this reconnection is is they want to come back and clear the air and then hey would you be interested in just having a physical relationship because again that's pretty much all they are interested in this is just the shallow pursuit of things and what somebody wants. It's not about connection. It's not about commitment. It's not about stability. It's about someone wanting what they want. So Taurus, just know that if your ex comes back, that's what's going on. They're, they're probably coming back to apologize and to do the right thing because they see themselves as very honorable and it's the right thing to do, blah, blah, blah. But, but can we also, um, have a physical relationship? And if not, they're fine with that too because they're going to find someone else, but they, they like being by themselves. Okay, so Taurus, I hope that was helpful for you. I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care. I wish you luck with this. Take care.